Hello and welcome back to another Cozy Tarot Sunday reading. If you're new, welcome. I'm Priscilla. I'm the owner of A Life Full of Simplicity. Today's Cozy Tarot Sunday reading will be for September 5th to the 11th. As always, for the self-care portion of the reading, I'll be reading from the Tarot for Self-Care by Minerva Siegel. So I did my poll on my community tab uh, for the new deck for September and 46% of people voted for the Crow Tarot, which is this deck right here. So I do have an unboxing of this on my channel or rather a flip through of it on my channel uh, that I posted last year. So I will leave this linked in the cards above so you can check it out. And if you're new, this is the reading that I do. It's the week ahead reading with the focus for the week, what's needed to embrace the focus, what's needed to let go of, and of course the self-care for the week because self-care is very important. So let's get to shuffling to see what this week has in store for us all. Okay, here... Slippy cards. Okay, that should be good. Okay, so we have the Hanged Man, King of Pentacles, the Fool, and then we have the Ace of Swords. So in the first position of what to focus on this week, we have the Hanged Man. So are you feeling as though you are stuck in a specific situation or project? That's really the question you want to ask yourself when you when you get the hanged man, I think, in my opinion. You know, the hanged man is asking you to take a step back and change your perspective on whatever it is you may be feeling stuck in or on. So you want to take a pause on the situation or project. That's really what the hangman is about. It's about taking a pause and taking a step back. And you want to ask yourself, you know, the following questions. So ask yourself, what needs to change because it's not working? Ask yourself, what do you need to let go of because it's not working as well? And also ask yourself, what is working and how can I focus or how could you focus more on that? You know, answering these questions may allow you to reflect and bring a different perspective to the situation or project. And it will also allow you to, you know, rekindle that love or that energy or that motivation for what's going on. That's really what the hanged man is saying. In the second position of what to embrace, we have the King of Pentacles. So you want to embrace that determination to change. So if you want to get out of the feeling of being stuck or being able to, you know, connect back to this situation or project, you need to have that motivation or determination to make those changes. So you want to remember that this will benefit you to do which is another aspect of that King of Pentacles, that aspect, you know, of abundance, of gains and fulfillment. And that's what you want to feel when you embrace the focus of that hangman. In the third position of what to let go, we have the fool. So you want to, you know, let go of being naive. You want to let go of that aspect of not being aware of the things that you should be aware of. So these are things that you should know when it comes to the situation or project, but you're not because you're being too naive with the situation or the project that's going on. So, you know, the fool can sometimes do things without understanding the consequences. 
And with that hanged man, you really want to pause and reflect. You know, you want to think things through to change your perspective. And the fool has the habit sometimes of doing things hastily or riskily. And if that's even a word, riskily, I don't know. Taking risks, doing things to take risks. And, you know, with the hanged man, you don't want to do that. So you don't want to do things hastily. You don't want to take risks in these kind of situations. You really want to sit and reflect and really pause and really think things think things through. Uh, tongue twister right there. Uh, so, yes, that's really what these three cards are saying together. Now, lastly, for the self-care for the week... We have the Ace of Swords. So I'll be reading from the Tarot for Self-Care by Minerva Siegel as always. The activities are in terms of mind, body, and spirit. And so, of course, take what resonates with you. As always, if these activities do not resonate, that's perfectly okay. You know, just do some kind of self-care for yourself that resonates with you. So in terms of mind, now is a great time to finally deep clean your car. Throw away any garbage, vacuum the seats and floor thoroughly, wipe down hard surfaces. In terms of body, take a self-defense class. No swords needed to find your inner strength. In terms of spirit, meditate with aura cleansing crystals like apatite or selenite for a refreshing energetic boost. As I always say with crystals though, if you're not one who works with actual crystals but you if you have a crystal deck and these cards are these crystals are in that specific oracle deck you can use the oracle deck to help with this particular um self-care activity you could also use mantras or affirmations that do the same thing that you know give a refreshing energetic boost in that same way, you can meditate on those things as well. So there's different options if you don't have actual crystals. And not everyone has actual crystals because they can be expensive. So just a different option for the spirit part. So those were the self-care activities. That was the Cozy Tarot Sunday reading for September 5th to the 11th. Take what resonates with you as always. Not all readings will resonate. Let me know in the comments what resonated, what didn't. Always love to hear from you. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Turn on that bell so you can be notified every time I post a brand new video. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up as it's greatly appreciated. And it does help me in the long so run. Thank you so much and have a great week.